Tonight with new information on the search for a missing Gloucester police officer, we've learned the identity of the missing man is 47-year-old Michael Hopkins. Topton. Hopton is a school resource officer at Ponagansett High School. He's been missing since early yesterday morning when he failed to show up for work at the Gloucester Police Department. Today, search teams scour Pulaski Park in Gloucester for a second straight day. That's the last place Hopton was seen. I'm in the news reporter Walt Buteau has been there all day. He joins us live now from Gloucester with the latest developments. Walt. He's been gone for almost two and a half days, but this is still considered a search and rescue mission involving police departments, about a dozen of them from across the state. And they're on boats today, ATVs, trucks, they're on foot. And it all starts here at the command center. As one busload of officers returned from the search, another prepared to head out into a wooded area the size of Newport. The parcel we're looking at now is approximately 5,000 acres. So we've expanded out to that. And as I said yesterday, we covered uh, approximately um, 250 acres. This is Michael Hopton's car, which was found in Pulaski State Park Saturday. Investigators tell us they do know the details surrounding his disappearance, but they're not releasing that information. The woods are so thick in some spots, the air search was called off for today. But there are the boots of 250 officers on the ground, boats on the bodies of water in the state park, and several ATVs weaving their way through the brush. Some is very thickly uh, dense, populated with the trees and brush, and some are areas are open. So. Hopton worked for the Smithfield Police Department for 20 years and retired as a captain. He then became a Gloucester resource officer about two years ago. Some involved in the search knew him. To search. I mean, regardless who the person is, it's a search, and we follow the same protocols and procedures for that search that we do for anybody else. But obviously, it's probably emotional for the officers involved in the search that are here today looking for him. You know, one of those officers just walked by us and t said very simply, he was a very good man. We hope to hear more about the officer soon. Meanwhile, we can tell you that the search will continue until sundown. And tonight at 6, we'll talk about a very key element to this difficult search here. Live with the Northwest Mobile Newsroom in Gloucester, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.